Very good. Backpacking through Europe. Beware of well-traveled women because women love to travel and fuck. If you see Tulum, Cancun, Ibiza in her in her bio, that's not your girl. Oh. What? Read his exchange. This is 007. He okay. does. Go ahead. Uh, so he says, "Hey, hey." You know, we got busy last time. We tried to make plans. Let's grab a drink this week. She says, unfortunately, I'm backpacking through Europe for three months, and I'm not back till the end of July. Ha ha. Girls are blind to this, and blue pill guys are, because every once in a while, yeah. and, and it happens more at the beginning of the summer, like very straight, you know, normal um, guys will ask, what is the deal with girls and travel? Yeah. And you'll see like literally hundreds of answers <laughs> and none of them are accurate. Yeah. They're all like, you know, girls are more educated today. You know, they, they want to, you know, spread their wing. And, and nobody's like, they love anonymous sex with strangers, you know, locals, other backpackers. You know, they want to try the, the local talent out. They want to hook up with randos. And there's no supervision. Most girls, it's just like college. Girls, that first semester in college is why it's such a fuck fest, is for the first time they're away from their parents yeah. or any of their friends keeping an eye on. Yeah. Again, girls need anonymity to really slut it up, to really do what they want to do. So when they are overseas or in Mexico or even in Nashville, Depending yeah, oh, yeah. on who they're Just with, outside of their yeah, zip code, any, really. where there's no friends or family and the guy doesn't know anyone that they will ever know. Yeah. They can sleep with four or five guys in a week or, or in a day, you know, that's spring break. And that's, that's what women and travel, just like this girl backpacking. Yeah. She's going to, she's bragging about it. She doesn't realize what she's bragging about. She doesn't know who she's bragging to. Because yeah. a player understands what this means. Yeah. Doesn't mean you can't fuck her when she comes back. No. no. But you need to recognize that that's what travel is for women. Yeah. You know, what are the exceptions? Well. They travel with their kids. Yeah. And I will say, I will say, the women don't actively think this either. They don't think, I'm going to go fuck every man. They see these, these travel romances, romances as romantic. Uh, I mean, every, how many movies are there where, Huge. where the girl, you know, goes off to find herself and she falls <coughs> in love with, with the local talent. What was it? What was the original eat, pray, love or something? Yeah, like that? It kind of kicked it off. Most popular. But, it's, but all of this has always existed. Yeah, exactly. It was just the most popular of the time. It's, yeah. you know, but for sure it's like, and by the way, those two are divorced now, but you know. It's just romantic to think I I traveled here. I met this amazing man. He was so sexy and so, and he he, he didn't speak English. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know. Yeah. And she fucked him. Yeah. And they had a little flame. Or not? I mean, it's no different than cocktail with Tom Cruise and Elizabeth Shue. So I mean, that's good you, recall. That's good. You you name it. It's a fun story to tell. It's drama. It's so nobody's watching her, yeah. So she can kind of do whatever she wants to do. She can get swept up. In yeah, it. you got to remember, like that's why girls like they're in their office job and then they're going. They're not going to the gym, but their office job or they're <laughs> going back home and they live with their parents. It's a boring, terribly boring life. Exactly. And nothing happens unless a guy is involved. That's why when girls do travel, it's on. Yeah. You know, they're away from home. It's exciting, and yeah. no one knows. Exactly. That's the kicker. That's the key. Let, let me ask you something. Like, so when these three or four girls head to Nashville, that's a big popular place, you know, uh -huh. or Austin, how do they deal with the, like, their friends? Is it kind of like an understanding if it's just a girl, like, if your friends are all whores, you're going to whore it up too. Is that what happens? But even get, if they're not, let's, right. let's use a better example that they're just like normal girls. Normal girls. Okay. You know, um, and, and, like, they don't go in there going, I hope I find someone to exactly. fuck this Yeah, bar. they would get in trouble with this. Yes. Yeah. But they all, they all, like, glam it up. 
they're not getting dressed up for for themselves. They're getting dressed up for the yeah, guys yeah. that they might potentially see. And at first, it's pretty tame. And this is why I always talk about girl, no girls' night out stuff. because they're completely, you know, dressed up, what, dressed to the nines. They've got sexy lingerie on the whole thing, the whole thing. They go out. It's pretty tame at first. But once they start getting a couple of drinks in them, these girls start like looking around and they're still in the conversation with their friends, but they're looking around, they're kind of catching eyes. They're seeing if there are any eligible, handsome, hot, whatever the, the adjectives are, men who are noticing them. And then the attention starts to go out from the table of girls and Very into the the surrounding uh, opportunities, let's say, and then it just becomes a romantic thing. It's 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 not. A, I mean, literally, these girls could be like they're they're not like. I hope he fucks me in the bathroom and I never learn his name. No, they're like, what if I married him? In their heads, it's it's more like, wouldn't it be a romantic story that we're on? Jenny's bachelorette party trip in Nashville, and I met my future husband here. Good. And he banged me in the bathroom, like. But, yeah, and that gets up. This is how it goes. Think of it as gambling, and the stakes just get higher while they're at the table. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it's pretty hard. Girl, like Bunny says, they don't consciously. No. But as a player, you should recognize, and good players do. The opportunity oh, girls, is there. Girls that's, trips, girls yeah, nights that's where you'll a see like opportunity. A group of two or three guys just move their party over. Even if like there's a couple married women, things happen. Yeah. Again, proximity. Yeah. You know, an opportunity, and no one will ever know. We're not even in town. Well, and here's the way you can tell if a table of girls, if the girl, the girls that are and aren't interested in casual hookups or or this opportunity. Um. So there are always the women who aren't dressed up. They're, the, you know, yeah. they're essentially invisible, but they're purposefully making themselves invisible. These are the married women. These are the relationship women who have no interest in hooking up. Now, there is still an echelon of women who think enough of themselves that they're still going to look nice. They're still, they're going out. They're going to be presentable. They're not trying to like completely look like whores, but they may still look nice well put together presenting presenting their best to the world but they're not looking around they're not making eye contact with anybody they're strictly focused on the women at the table and there are these women it does happen it's a rarity but it does happen so just know that the women who who aren't making eye contact and the women who are essentially invisible because they look like they just left could have left the grocery store that's those are the women that aren't there for casual. And the best is where you have the women that are put together and you still kind of like invade their space and they go, I'm married. Yeah. I mean you're like oh, they, they're not these, these are the even, these are yeah. the good wives. I yeah, mean they're like they're true. attractive, they take care of themselves, they're not rude, but they don't entertain your bullshit. They will either. not entertain No, it. no, they just they shut it down, they start laughing at you. Yeah. You know, but then they also, if you try to hang around, because guys do this all the time, they'll like push through that. Oh, yeah. Try, oh, yeah. They'll try. And yeah. she'll be like, listen, we're trying to have like oh, some yeah. time. I need you to go back to your friends. Exactly. This yeah. has happened several they'll, times. They'll kick you. Them. They'll kick you like a puppy. Yeah. Awesome. Let's wrap this baby up. I got, I got something else to get to.